Welcome back to the COVID Trading Channel, everyone, where we focus on people, passion, and platforms. I'm Alex Bustos, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to build a scanner using DOS. Scanners are so important to your trading. The reason they're so important is because they're able to filter out tons of stocks. There's hundreds of stocks out there to narrow down to the ones that you need to focus on. So maybe you're looking at thousands and then you use your scanner to narrow down to maybe 25 stocks. At that point, you're able to analyze those 25 and determine which one really fits the best to your style. Now let's jump to my screen and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Let's go ahead and jump right into this, showing you how to create a scanner on DOS's platform through Cobra Trading, as well as use Market Viewer, which is basically a quick hack to scan for stocks. I use both of these every single day, and I'm gonna show you how to set them up. On the right, you have Market Viewer. On the left, you have Scan, where you can scan for your setup. You can set your own criteria. You can determine that all through the process of modifying and adding your own type of scanner and criteria. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of both of these and I'm gonna show you how to make these on your own. The first step is you're gonna click on tools and then click on scanner. Now one little quick tip, if you right click on this window and click pop out, you can then pull it out of this main window, which is really nice when you're organizing your desktop. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add your own scanner. You're gonna click add and you're gonna name it. We'll name it test. Now there are different types of scanners that you can set up. There's volume and price, there's gap up, RSI, and so forth. The biggest thing is you wanna select the one that best fits you as a trader and what you need to filter out to find the best setups. I'm gonna go for volume and price filter because I wanna look for stocks throughout the day and see what fits my criteria. In this case, I'm gonna say a price filter of $5 to 50 on the high end. For volume, I'm gonna say 50 million because as of now, volume has been really, really crazy in 2020 and we're now in January 2021 and the volume has not slowed down because typically I probably keep that around one to three million on the low end, but on the high end, I want this to be able to go as high as it can because I don't wanna miss out on any stocks. Now on the exchange, you're gonna get these options, N-A-Q-U and lowercase u. If you're wondering what those mean, all you need to do is look down below and you'll see each symbol means a certain exchange. New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, OTCs, Pink Sheets, and so forth. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select what best fits you, but for this case, I'm gonna select New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, and then I'll select Commit. Now, once you select Commit, it's gonna show the name of your scanner right here on this drop down menu. And you'll see here, Test. Go ahead and press scan and there you go. You have all the stocks that fit the criteria that you set. Now your job is to go to each one and find out which one looks the best for you to put money behind. The next one I'm gonna show you is the market viewer. It is by far my favorite because it's very easy to use and it scans for the biggest percent gainers. You go ahead and select quotes up here. Go ahead and select market viewer, select market view. Then you wanna go ahead and drag it out of this window, right? Right click, click pop out. And at first it doesn't look very helpful, but when you right click inside and view top lists, you have options. I like NASDAQ gainers. When you select that, it shows you all of the gappers pre-market. It shows you all the biggest percent gainers throughout the day. And this is something I really love to use because I can easily see what is moving and what has a lot of volume behind it. And if you want, you can actually right click and you can config and you can change all of this up to scan and only show certain items. In this case, we're looking at our vol, the, the volume and other indicators because that's what's important to me. However, you can select any one of these and add them and they'll go ahead and pop up right here. So this is my favorite by far, as I said before, but you can always create your own using the scanner. I hope this video helped you a lot in understanding why it's important to build a scanner and how to actually do it using DOS platform. And if you have any questions at all, don't forget, reach out to us at covidtrading.com and click on the live chat feature and we're happy to answer any questions you might have. And remember, hit that like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you are notified for future content. Thanks.